Hi, my name is Mustafa Qadoura. Today I will talk about Hamiltonian neural networks for modeling dynamic systems. There are different approaches for modeling dynamic systems. First approach is the white box modeling, which is based on physics equations. However, this requires system expertise and may include several assumptions, preventing it from capturing all the physics. On the other end, we have the black box modeling, which is a data-driven model. However, this requires large amount of data and lacks generalization in which it fails outside the data ranges. To improve these approaches, we have in the middle the gray box modeling approach, which imposes prior knowledge of physics laws as training constraints. In the gray box modeling approach, traditional neural networks struggle to learn conservation equations, such as conservation of energy and momentum, which describe system dynamics. For that, we want models that learn data and respect physics at the same time. Consider an ideal mass spring system. The state of a dynamic system is defined by its position Q and momentum P. The purpose of a physical model is to predict the changes of the system over time. This is commonly done by predicting the next state of the system from the current one according to the following equation, where s is the time derivative of the coordinates. For that, it's desired to compute the value of s so that we can simulate the system. Traditional neural networks aims to predict the time derivative s directly. This results in learning approximation of the conservation laws, causing the model to drift from true dynamics. In this area, we have the Hamiltonian neural networks, which is a recent architecture that can learn and respect exact conservation laws of physics, which I will discuss in the next slide. Hamiltonian neural networks are inspired from Hamiltonian mechanics. Let's first have a brief background on Hamiltonian mechanics. A Hamiltonian is a function representing the total energy of the system expressed as the sum of potential energy U and kinetic energy K. For our system, it's given by the following equation. Taking the derivatives of the Hamiltonian results in what's known as the Hamiltonian equations, which relate the total energy of the system to its position Q and momentum P. Thus, time evolution of the dynamic system S, which we aim to compute, can be obtained by directly differentiating the Hamiltonian function. What differentiates the Hamiltonian neural network is that it aims to learn the Hamiltonian H instead of S, which gives the model the ability to learn exact conserved quantities from the data. To have a visual representation, traditional neural networks receive the Q and P as input and tend to predict the time derivative S directly. On the other hand, in the Hamiltonian neural network, we train a neural network with tunable parameters theta to predict the Hamiltonian H. Then, we compute the gradient of H with respect to input parameters. And finally, we compute the loss function based on the gradient itself. During training, when the optimizer tends to minimize the loss function, the Hamiltonian equations are satisfied. Thus, the network learned to conserve energy straight from the data. Let's now see how we can implement Hamiltonian neural network. The governing ordinary differential equation of the mass spring system is given as follows, and the solution have the following shape. We have four steps for implementing the Hamiltonian neural network. First step is data generation, in which we generate input data, targets, and we combine them into a data set. Second step is the setup, in which we define the neural network architecture and we define our loss function. Third step is training, in which we compute the gradients of the network and we optimize based on the computed gradients. And finally, we use the trained network to solve the differential equation. Let's now see how we can code that in Julia programming language. The first step is data generation. I will start by creating a time sequence ranging from 0 to 1, including 1,024 elements.
Next, I will create my inputs, which are the position vector Q and momentum vector P. I use the reshape function to reshape my vector into a row vector. Next, I will create my targets, which are the time derivatives of Q and P. Next, I will connect my input vectors and my target vectors together. Finally, I will use the data loader function to create my data set. The second step is the setup. I will create my Hamiltonian neural network, which will be a two-dimensional network having 64 nodes in each internal layer. To create my Hamiltonian network, I will use the Hamiltonian NN function in Julia. For activation function, I have used the rectified linear unit. I will access my inputs. For the optimization algorithm, I will use ADAM algorithm with learning rate of 0 0.01. Finally, I will define my loss function, which will be the mean squared error. I will define a callback function to be printing the value of the loss function in each iteration. Third step is training my Hamiltonian network. I will loop over each element in my dataset stored in the data loader. I will then compute the gradient of the network and pass it to the loss function. I will then optimize my network based on the computed gradient, which differentiates the Hamiltonian network from different architectures. Opt is my optimization algorithm, which is Adam. P is my inputs. GS is my gradients. The last step is to use my trained network to solve differential equations. I will use the neural Hamiltonian differential equation function as a, fun as a wrapper over my trained network. I will call my trained network HNN. 
I'll define time span. I will use fifth order range kuta function. And I will add the following settings. Next, I will create an array to save my predicted results. And now I will plot my predicted values versus the original values. Here is the results. We are looking at the position on the horizontal axis and momentum on the vertical axis. Orange is the predicted curve by the network and blue is the ground truth shape. We can observe a good match. This code was adopted from siamal.ai and a copy of the guided workflow is posted on my GitHub. Thank you for watching.